Hey, Brendan here with a quick video on how to get started with the WordPress REST API and active pieces. And it doesn't have to be active pieces in this workflow, but that's what I'm looking at today. Active pieces is a sort of open source Zapier alternative that lets you connect and create workflows. Um, but essentially what we're gonna be doing today is taking endpoints that are open on by default on WordPress websites uh, with the REST API and we can look at posts, for instance, on any site that has this enabled and isn't blocking it with something like Cloudflare. And so what we're going to do is just kind of go over the basics. And then in a subsequent video, I have a more complex case where I have a spreadsheet where we're going to connect up to some ACF fields and have all this data flow into our site as custom post types, uh, as custom posts. So if that sounds interesting. Stick around. Let me know if you have any questions and if you like this kind of content, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. And um, yeah, in any case, I'm gonna get started. So what we're going to do, and I'll leave links to all these things, but without getting too lost in the key concepts because there's plenty of other resources, what, what we're gonna do is be able to push and pull data to and from WordPress websites, right? Using the REST API. So there's a lot of good stuff in this um, article with all these various uh, sub pages here. Highly recommend checking that out to learn a little bit more, but I'm going to try and just get you through it and I'm learning with you too. So let's keep going. So what are we going to do? We're going to look at the WP Tavern website for a second. I'm going to refresh this and here is the most recent article. It's about D uh, decode 2024. Then there's a, a reflections on my two weeks writing for the tavern, etc. So keep an eye on those two titles because what we're going to do is grab this data in a JSON format via the REST API. So what I can do is come to grab the URL and I'm going to open up Postman just to show you quickly uh, that you can do this elsewhere, but also we're going to get moving on to active pieces after this. So what we're going to do is a get request to just look at the data there and that's not going to do anything. We need to use the REST API uh, routing. Um, where did I put it? Right here. So routes and endpoints. There is a route, the route WP, blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, WP dash JSON slash WP slash V2 slash, and then whatever your directory is. And this could be blank. That'll get you all the endpoints. Or if you put in posts, it'll get you all the posts. So let's go here. And again, if you switch this to, let's say, services, and they have that custom post type, it, it would be able to grab that as well. So if I come back to Postman and paste in this link, we're going to get that data. And I can see just like that, it has come back with all the data. Um, let's move some of this. And so there's the title, right, inside Decode 2024. And if I, I guess just keep scrolling down. There's the next post there. Um, reflections on my two weeks writing for the tavern. Again, there's the title. There's all the content. And so, so it's publicly available information to see and push and pull, right? So what can we do with this? Uh, and we can come back to our active pieces. And what I'm gonna do is make a new flow. We're just gonna make a flow from scratch and I will select a trigger, let's just say schedule, and we'll have it run this flow every, every, for easy, just because it's easier to, I don't have to pick a time. We're just going to say right now for every, every minute, you don't need to fetch the data that often. It's not updated that often, but extra, extrapolate this out to larger projects and push and pull. This is how you get the idea of headless uh, systems to use, use WordPress just as a content management system. In any case. Don't get distracted, Brendan. Keep on course here. What we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same HTTP request, request that we did at Postman, but now we're going to do it in active pieces. And so I've selected it there, and our action is going to be to send a request, and the method is going to be to get the data. And we're going to come back to grab the URL here and come back to active pieces, and I can paste that URL right there. And I don't need to adjust any of the query parameters or anything like that. I can just do test data. And this will go and fetch that and bring that data back into active pieces here. So there it is. I can close the headers. There's the body. There it is. 
inside decode. Uh, oops, right? Inside decode, that's the first one. And then this other one should be reflections on my two weeks at the tavern. So there it is. It is working. We have the data. Now we can use it further down to the flow. And so just for testing, I'm going to say we're going to connect to my WordPress site. We're going to say we're going to create a post. And we're going to, uh, and just really quick, in the next video, we're going to do custom API calls. Um, so it's a little more, it's a little more involved, but this is, this is the easiest way. Now I already have this site connected in here. This is a site that is not being used that um, I'm just importing stuff into. But when you do hit new connection for the first time, you'll have this come up and this will take you to the GitHub uh, to download a JSON authenticator. This is what allows you to be able to actually edit the contents of your WordPress site through uh, basic auth JSON authentication using your username and password. And this is an old reliable plugin. It's been around for, it's like almost a decade here. So um, that's, that's fine to use. Uh, it works over SSL. There's also a non SSL version. Um, in any case, the connection type, I'm going to have my have mine connected. All right. So I'll select that. And what do we want for the title? Well, look, now I have all these, this little pop up here. This shows me all the data in the previous steps of the flow. And now I have these available to use. So I can say, okay, we want the, the first, the most recent post, right? There's the slug inside decode 2024, right? You remember that? So now here's our title. There's our rendered title. And so that will create the title with that title. We've mapped now mapped that data. And here's the content and we can put the content. You get the idea. There's the slug. I can put the slug. There's the date. I can put the date. So now what I can do, and there's a bunch of other stuff in here. I'm going to ignore it for now, right? Um, trying to go fast, but also maybe you can hopefully follow along. But right, so now I have the data available and it is just created a post on my site with that data, right? So there's the body, there's the, all the various things. There's the title inside decode 2024. There's the content, right? So then if I open up my WordPress site, I can, oh yeah, here it is. So if I go to posts, you can see there's no posts right here. I can refresh and there's the post inside decode 2024. Now you can see it's a draft. I forgot to, uh, oops. I forgot to make it on active pieces. I needed to go to status and do publish if you wanted it published, right? And so if I go back and retest it, it'll use the same data, but now it'll end it with the uh, status there. And so it's probably gonna be re uh, repeated, right? So if I come back and refresh, there it is again. The first one's the draft, that's the most recent. All right, so I'm gonna stop it there because uh, I'm going to do the next part in the next video. So if this was interesting for you, let me know. Uh, again, in the next video, we're going to hook that up. Instead of blog posts, we can hook it up to a custom post types and use all this data here um, uh, in ACF values. And we'll be able to hook that up pretty easily. We're only going to have to write like four or five lines of code. I'll, I'll walk you through it and I'll give the code in the description in the next video. Uh, until next time, thank you. Take care.